Hi there everyone. Yeah, I'm on a bit of an awkward uh, <laughs> view thing again. Um, the, obviously I'm more to the right to the left or to the right. Anyway, <laughs> one I'm more one-sided because yep, I've got another package from Amazon. Um, yeah, at least one of the items I could have gotten earlier, but at the time I wanted to save my money. So yeah. But I saved and I got the other item, or decided to get the other item uh, just the other day. And of course it's uh, pretty fast actually, our Amazon deliveries. I think we're um, not that far off from a warehouse, I guess. Or something to that extent. But yeah, <clears throat> pretty pleased with the stuff. Oh yes, yep, 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 good, good, good. <laughs> so first of all, in this particular box we have oh first of all let me, I have to say this I really need to say this <clears throat> happy year of the dragon blaster <laughs> yeah, it's dragon blaster skeletor um which I thought um thunder punch he-man may have actually been released but no this is um actually because okay then I'm just seeing what they um Go on the back here but yeah because this is from a new snake men variant on uh, the master of the universe origins um packaging here so yeah in fact if, if you can look on the back there you've got the uh list of the uh figures from this particular set oh got a different uh, mini comic as well so i'm looking at the front <laughs> You've got a padlock, a chain, a sword, and of course the Dragon Blaster thing itself, and of course the Skeletor figure, and of course his sword. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm listing um, what, what I can see on the front here, because I haven't seen the front yet, I've only looked at it from the back, which I've just shown. Um, I'm, 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 I'm confusing everyone, sorry. I only saw the back, not the front. You saw the front, not the back, but now it's... Uh, uh, no, it's now all different. Of course, we've got that deluxe thing again, like uh, from the packaging from before. But uh, yeah, obviously, you know, dragons, snakes. So the theme actually does fit quite well. So yeah, there we go. Oh, I just have to look at this. Mattel, empowering through... Oh, what was that? Empowering the next generation through play, apparently is uh, their motto. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's uh, pretty nifty looking um, drawings and everything. Is that the... Oh, okay, yeah, that looks like the Bashasaurus on the back there. It looks like also we might get uh, Too Bad and we might get Thunder Punch He-Man perhaps a bit later on as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mentioned that. Yeah, <laughs> and of course the, the, the vehicle it looks like he's driving the, is the Bashasaurus. So uh, yeah, that's interesting. Is it the Bashasaurus? Yeah. Yes, it is, yeah, because it's got the uh, the wrecking ball on the back there. <clears throat> yeah, because you drive it along, the wrecking ball goes boom, 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 like that. That's <laughs> basically how it worked. Um, so, yeah, it looks like we've got uh, a few more interesting figures coming up um, a bit later, if they're not already available. What's the copyright on this? Uh, <clears throat> can't really make it out. I think it actually says 2022. So maybe they are available, or they're still, or maybe there may have been a bit of a production delay, I'm not sure. Um, I think the rest of these figures are available. Uh, Snake Face, Snake Teela, Snake Trooper, King Randor Samurai, and of course Dragon Blaster Skeletor uh, himself. So I'm guessing the other figures are available separately from this particular range. Uh, maybe or maybe not. Maybe uh, the picture on the top there is perhaps an illustration. But hopefully, if that's the case, hopefully we'll, we'll see um, a lot of these other figures. It just makes sense. They'll probably all be in the same sort of snake men uh, themed packaging as before. But yeah, it was a variant of Skeletor. Hadn't had it yet. So there we are. Dragon Blaster Skeletor. And the other thing, which I was playing on getting for a while, it's actually much lighter than I thought. Um, once again, going on to the other big franchise from the 80s, Transformers, you know, the franchise that's as old as me. <laughs> yeah, Master, Master of the Universe, which began, uh, was it late 81? I think, okay, yeah. 
<clears throat> late 81, 80, uh, early 82, sort of around then, because the uh, uh, He-Man and Masters of the Universe, the cartoon, didn't um, come out until 1983, so about a year after the toy line had been pretty much set in stone. But Transformers, of course, have been around since, well, I was born. <laughs> and from the Transformers Legacy line, I actually had my eye on this for a very long while. Very glad to be able to finally get it. Galvatron, yes, with his Matrix bling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, this is actually a repackaged, though. Actually, it's a slight redeco, slightly, ever so slightly, redeco of the version, <clears throat> sorry, of the same figure that was released in the Kingdom uh, toy line. Was it, yeah, was it Kingdom? Yeah. I'm trying to remember, yeah, it was one of the uh, Wolf Cybertron. Yes, Kingdom. Yeah, but that one had some battle damage um, in his uh, paint design. This one is a lot more clean um, as far as the uh, overall design is concerned. Actually, you can tell uh, a bit more so on the back of the box here, which shows you the figure. So, but yeah, but pretty much, yeah, well, yeah, it is. It's the same mould. It's just um, slightly repainted, so it's a bit cleaner looking. Uh, See, so yeah, of course, you've got uh, Megatron now. Oh, on the, s I'm trying to think of who's on the side here. Um, all these images. I think that's obviously. I think Megatron on the top. That's drag strip. Yeah, drag strip of the um, uh, Stunticons. <laughs> Shall I remember the name? Um, on the side there. Um, the one below. Is that Skywarp or Thundercrack? I don't know. There's. I think there's um. An Insecticon beside him. I think that might be Kickback. Yeah. Um. The, the uh, la, la, la. Grasshopper. Yeah. It's just that um this Dragon Head thing. I was thinking. It, um. No. Not Ripper. No. Ripper Snapper was white. Um. No. No. I'm thinking of. No. I'm thinking of Hunger. Yeah. Yeah. Ripper Snapper was the two-headed. Well, he's also a dragon, but he had um or an, an orange head. I don't know what. This purple. One. There's been. So, there's been so many characters throughout the franchise. Uh, released in the Legacy toy line. That's why I frigging love the Legacy toy line because um, it doesn't matter where in Transformers you come from, if it was like original G1 or from the Japanese continuity or from Beast Wars or from something like um, the Unicron trilogy. Even a few characters from Animated have actually gone into the Legacy toy line. It's like, it's like no holds barred. Anybody can be in the Legacy toy line, including really obscure characters and some which have um just appeared as toys for the very first time i think like metal hawk um going back to the japanese continuity i think um yeah it was his i think first it might have been his first i'm not sure but i guess he's like his first proper figure he may not have been a pretender like he originally was but still at least had the figure in some capacity but uh yeah that's <laughs> i don't know oh, i don't know someone might actually point in the comments with what that uh what that is, but I'm pretty sure I'm right about the rest of the characters. Yeah, Megatron, Dragstrip, one of the Seekers at least, and an Insecticon, and I'm assuming that's Cybertron, or I guess, or some kind of... <laughs> I've got no idea. Anyway, at least we know on the opposite side, it's definitely Galvatron, Robot Mode, and Cannon Mode. So yeah, there you are. Oh, by the way... um. Uh, yeah, the new feature, um, for particularly on this one, uh, which is also prominent on the version from uh, the Kingdom line, which is because this is the same mould, is those extra cannons that you can attach to his cannon mode. Uh, but what's interesting is that they actually resemble his uh, spaceship, the Revenge, that was given to him by Unicron during Transformers the movie after he got reformatted from being Megatron. Uh, yeah, they're just there, you know, it's the legacy logo on top, and on the bottom is just all the usual legal guffins. If that's even a word. I think, I think, yeah, I think, I think Stuart Ashton actually mentioned that. <laughs> oh, oh dear, yeah, um, but yeah, I'm shutting up now. <laughs> Hang on, what's that? What, 33 steps? Oh, wow, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I know they're a bit more, um, not that complicated to transform, but uh, yeah. <laughs> It's fine, but yeah, you can proudly. Um, but still, I didn't imagine it was taking about thirty-three. But mind you, hmm. um, though it's I guess like once you once you transform these things a few times, there you get used to it. 
but yeah, you got yeah, but it's, you got to have to uh, appreciate the fact that he still has his Matrix bling. <laughs> he nicked straight from uh, in the movie. It was poor Ultra Magnus he took it from. Um, I don't know maybe someone could recreate it and say, "Oh, we actually took it from Prime," and, and people would be like, "Oh, he took it from Optimus Prime? No way! <laughs> How did he open his chest and it?" It'll probably actually some people made, made artwork of him in it, ripping out um, or opening uh, Prime's chest and then ripping out the Matrix from it. I, I won't be surprised if there's actually anything, um, or there's only artwork which uh, shows that. <laughs> so yeah, that'd be um, so double villains from the 80s. Of course, we've got Galvatron and we have Dragon Blaster Skeletor. So once again, Happy Eve the Dragon Blaster. <laughs> so yeah, Dragon Blaster Skeletor and Galvatron from the Transformers Legacy line. I am pretty pleased about that. About having those. So yeah, that's the uh, unboxing. Hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry if I've rambled on about stuff uh, for far too long. <laughs> but if you have stayed to the end, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.